Welcome to Taking the College Youth with Bungi. My name is Bungi Kile Khalakhala. And today, as you guys have seen by the title of this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my women's license journey. As I have mentioned on my previous videos that I am planning or I was planning on getting my women's license. So what I'm going to be telling you about or sharing with you guys is um, the training center uh all the information about the training center that i'm going to be using um how i got registered because 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 how i got registered because i'm registered already um how much it was um what else the details around my register my registration <sighs> I bite my tongue a lot when I speak English, so you guys are going to have to forgive me. So details around registration. The training center that I am using is Industries Training Center in Peace. Industries Training Center in Peace. Industries Training Center in Port Elizabeth, Quebec, or Ebay. Uh, how did I get registered? How I got registered is I phoned them because i got their details from a friend then i phoned them and i inquired about women's license so this is these are the questions these are the questions that they are that they asked me these are the questions that they asked me over the phone right uh do i have n2 yes i have n2 so they required my n2 certificate uh apparently okay this is something that i did not know you don't have to have a, a trade test in order for you to do a woman's license as long as you have your enter certificate and i think experience or something i don't have information on that but you must have your enter certificate and something else that i do not know i'm just going to be sharing my journey so i'm going to tell you about what i have and what it is that they required for from me so and my entry certificate the trade test certificate and my cv an updated cv so these are the three things that they required for me those three things which i sent via email to um via email and so that okay okay i had to send those things via email so that they can keep um uh, secure a date for me so they told me that your date is going to be somewhere around mid-april so they don't they did not give me the exact date at the time but they said mid-april then they later gave me the date which was from the 12th of april to the 20th of april then they said to me you don't have to pay now. We'll give you the date, yes, but you don't have to pay now. But as long as you are going to pay on the first day, in fact, as long as by the first day of your training, which is my training in this case, as long as you have paid by that first day. Uh, so I decided to pay, pay earlier because I give it my tat, right? Uh, how much did I pay? My registration was... 4,500 rands because I have both N2 and a trade test certificate. So if you have N2 and whatever it is else that they need there, you pay more than that, close to eight, 9,000 rands. Now that's all the information I have. I don't know other things, but I promise you guys, I promise to ask a lot of questions when I get to the training center that I can share with you. Um or in fact ask me whatever questions you would like me to ask them at the training center down on the comment section below and i promise to ask those questions when i get to the training center and then we'll make a video about all your questions and answer each and every one of them we'll see how we do it i can ask the questions while vlogging if they allow me to do that or i can just ask the questions and then we'll make a video where i answer all those questions uh i think that's about it i think i've given you all the information that you need to know if you have a trade test you need an entry certificate 
they were not sure if you can use N3 or N4 if you don't have N2. They were not sure about that so much that even though it was difficult for me to get a hold of my N2 certificate, I had to make a plan. Your certificates do not even have to be certified. You can just scan them using your phone, uh, have your CV and email everything to them. I'll tell you what else happens after that. Like, I'll take you throughout the journey, guys, until I get the thingy, the book, the COC thingy. I'm doing, doing, I don't know what, I don't know the term for it, but until I get that book, I'll take you guys through with me. I'll take, I'll tell you guys how long it took me, uh, well, how long it took them to get me the wireman's license and how long it took, uh, the department of labor to give me that book how much everything was i'll tell you guys for now that is it thank you so much for making time to watch this video if you're not subscribed please please subscribe thank you so much to everyone who subscribed um if you have any question or there's anything that you would like me to make a video of but i'm gonna be away for a while okay i've been away for a while but i'm still gonna be away for a while because i'm going for training from the 12th of april so i'm still not gonna be around uh if you have any questions for me or if you have any video idea that you would like me to uh upload on the channel do let me know in the comment section down below uh if i don't respond on time you can get me on instagram at bongi rsa facebook messenger at i'm not gonna respond on time but try facebook messenger at bongi kile bongi khala khala or twitter at bongi r7 yes i think that's it thank you so much again for watching this video i will see you on my next video take care